everyone, welcome to Science Club After School. I appreciate you all being here. I knew you had long days of English class and history and food science with Janicek and things like that. Everyone, we had a request from James to talk about time travel and uh, multiverses and other things of that nature today. James, would you like to lead us off? Yep. Hey guys, I'm going to lead the class discussion for the day. So, me and my two friends back there are going to uh, help me basically kind of teach this lesson. So basically we're going to be talking about how the universe was created. Does anyone want to take this one? God? The universe? So we take the idea that this universe was created by such God, but the idea is what created him? Nothing, of course. Well, it's certainly a possibility. Well, if something created him... Hey, I gotta go, man. Um, I'll talk to you later. Alright, see ya. So anyway, as I was saying, then what created the thing that created God, that created the universe, that created us? We did. Good. So, these concepts are in our head. Whether or not they're real or not doesn't matter. So, let's take our next thing. Where does space end? It doesn't. Uh, we think so. So, one of the theories is that if we take the Big Bang, we know that one of the theories, it, well, we know that it keeps expanding. So if it keeps expanding, then it hasn't reached its max. So, it's still continuing to grow. Unless you go so far on one end, that it takes you back to the other end and makes a complete circle. True. Okay. So, if we take this concept that it's still growing, then what is it growing inside of? Is it a little box or something? Will it end? I mean, who knows, you know? How about the multiverse? That's pretty interesting. Yes, this co connects with the multiple universes and the multiple timelines, which within each timeline are multiple universes, and within each universe multiple timelines. So it's really confusing, so that's for another time when we have an entire class period. Uh, next week, actually, is when we're going to get to that, but thanks. What about the fifth dimension from the Twilight Zone, or any of the other multiple theories brought out by Doctor Who or Star Trek? Those things could possibly be true. How about the Mandela Effect? Here we go. Perfect. So, with this... Alright guys, see you guys next week. Uh, we'll have a test a week after that. Let me know if you have any questions. if we wanted. I'm sorry, James, but this relationship is over. I gotta go.
Hello, my name is James, and I believe I have the very first time machine. So there's this solar panel in here that uh, charges basically the light bulb. There's a light bulb in here, and when I turn the switch, it has an electric uh, thing that goes to my clock in here. Uh, it's more of a timer, basically a setting in the day, time, you're kind of like in Back to the Future, something like that. Uh, this is just a prototype, so this cardboard box is only going to last a couple times through time travel, and then it'll break. Um, like I said, it's just a prototype, so we're going to have our very first trial right now. So I have this set for about 30 seconds from now. I'm put my stuffed animal in here. And all I have to do is whatever touches this box or is in this box with this stuff, uh, it will take to 30 seconds from now. So, once I push this button down in here, this should disappear. Three, two, one. It's kinda... Alright. We're about five seconds in. Ten seconds. Could you imagine me building the first time machine? Fifteen seconds. About halfway. Twenty seconds. Twenty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh my god, it worked. It, w it worked. I've su successfully built the very first time machine. Right. I, gotta, I gotta call Jordan about this. Hey, hey Jordan. Okay, so I... You won't believe I built the very first time machine. It took me about a couple of months, but it works. It really works. Jordan, oh my god, it works. Wait, what? There's no way. I know, right? I, I, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna travel into the future and, uh, or see if, I mean, if it really works, if I can send a body and then I'll go from there. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You know better than anyone not to mess with time. This could be a way for me and Beth to be together. I'm just gonna use it a couple times and that's it. I promise. Well, it's your choice. I'm just hoping you make the right one. At this point, I have successfully transported a stuffed animal 30 seconds into the future. Today, I'm going to send myself 30 years into the future. We'll see how this goes. So, I'm going to head to the back side of town. That is where I've set up my structure here, my time. And when I push this button, it will send me 30 years into the future exactly where I want to be. So, without further ado, here we go. It worked! Hey, old friend, how long's it been? Three decades? You look just about the same. Does he have any uh, new? face wash or something that you've been trying? No. Do you have a uh, phone book by any chance? No, I got the internet. Why? I need to find uh, Beth. Tell her that my time machine worked. Beth is dead. She died during World War III. Oh, well, uh, I can go back home and show her and then she'll go wherever she wants in the time machine. At the time you traveled in time, it had already been months since the breakup. And by that time, she's already moved on. Considering you can't go back in time, before the time in which you left, I'd let it go. I know. Alright, well, uh, I'll just go home then. I'll see you soon. 
Owen James. Yes? Don't mess with the timeline after this. There'll be consequences if you do. This doesn't look like 2017. <gasps> hey, uh, sorry, can I use your internet? Internet? They got rid of that years ago. Do you want a phone book? I mean, I guess that might help. I just, I need to know where I am. Talent Oregon. What, what year? 2094. James, it's been a long time. Beth, I thought, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead all those years ago. How'd you get here? I built a time machine. Somehow I survived. If it hadn't been for that darn president back then. I was a U.S. spy. North Korea took me and others. But we escaped. And ever since then, I was hoping to find the Fountain of Youth and hoping you'd come back and find me. Let it go, James. The past is the past. Go back home and forget you ever found me. It's better that way. I will have moved on by that point. Okay. You're right. It's nice seeing you again, Beth. It's 2094. Shouldn't you be dead already? She's been looking for the fountain. Let's just say, I found it. Go away, Jordan. I don't think you understand. I'm, if you need me, I'm gonna go to the 1940s. No, James. <laughs> You're in a secret facility on the planet Zahulahu. You're on the home of our creators, the aliens. The aliens created us? Then who created them? Only they know that. Who are you? I'm time and you've been screwing with me. You're funny, I've, I've seen your birth certificate and everything. Here, have some tea with me. Okay. Me and you got a lot to talk about. Right. I have time restrictions, and you, sir, are breaking the rules. See, I am time, so I knew you would travel in time, so I embodied a human to keep an eye on you. I was hoping you wouldn't make the time machine, but I had to make it to where you couldn't travel back from the time you left. You were about this close to creating a paradox. You should thank me that I stopped you. So I'm giving you the option to choose. Don't screw things up again. And if I decline? Well, then they'll take you. The creators aren't already happy. You already killed one of them in your sleep when they're messing with you, I mean. This is a silver dollar. Care to play heads or tails? Heads? You get to go back home, and I can't mess with you, only speak with you. And you can do whatever you want with that. Tails? I get to tell you what to do and what happens to you. Deal? Fine. Looks like you're a very lucky man. Now go, and don't mess with me ever again. Yeah. Alice, I got something to show you. I never thought I'd actually be at a science convention. I just, I don't know if we should do this. You shouldn't be so greedy. There are 52 people out there counting on you. They've heard the rumors that you've brought a time machine. You're gonna be a rich man by this time tomorrow. I'll meet you after the presentation. Good luck. Do not mess it up. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You can't touch me anymore. I can't, but the aliens can. The more you mess with me, the worse things are gonna get. 
Screw with me, you're screwing with the whole multiverse. Think what they'll do, make millions of these, sell them like toys. Everything you know is gonna disappear. Paradox is everywhere. You have a choice to make. I just hope you make the right one. You know, it's funny because time was just created by the humans. You don't exist. You're not real, uh, which means the time machine didn't work. Think about that for a minute. The humans didn't create time, the aliens did, and they're not happy. Make a choice. Thank <laughs> you. 